It's a new day. This is New Day Northwest. Now, here's Margaret Larson. And it's International Chowder Day, people. Did you know that? Duke from Duke's Chowder House is here to help us with a delicious celebration. And we also have some exciting developments. To talk it's a new day. You might not know this, but this is International Chowder Day, as declared by Mayor Nichols back in 2005. We're not exactly sure how a city mayor declares an international day, but we are going with it, because when the weather turns chilly, chowder is fabulous. We're honored to have Duke of Duke's Chowder House here with us today with his award-winning recipes and telling us what makes them so special. Please help me welcome Duke Mosgrip. Hi. Thank you. Good to Thank have you. you. Thank you. You know I love your chowder, because you've seen me eat it. Yeah. Um, so Actually, Mayor Nichols used to come into one of our restaurants, and I think we bribed him with, with chowder. That, well, I, whatever. If it's chowder day, <laughs> I say we make chowder. So what is the secret to making a great chowder? Well, let me just say something about International Chowder Day. It, it's free chowder for anybody who comes to our restaurant. You get a small bowl of chowder, no conditions. You don't have to buy anything. We hope you do, but if you don't, that's okay. All uh, day today? All day today. It's our six restaurants, so come in and wow. help yourself. Don't, uh, please don't leave yeah. until the end of the show. <laughs> yeah, stay here for, for <laughs> a little we'll, bit. Then we'll go to the restaurants. Yeah, and it's, it's really our, our way of saying thank you for uh, the 34 That's years great. that we've been at Duke's Restaurant. And, uh, you know, this, it's the least we can do. Also, what I'd like to say, it's the Marines' birthday. Happy birthday, Marines. Fantastic. Booyah. All right. What do we do with chowder today? Well, you know, my grandfather started making chowder 100 years ago in New England, Fall River, Massachusetts. And I started about 38 years ago. And my, my grandfather had a great trick. He put chocolate eclairs in the middle of the table. Mm -hmm. If you didn't finish your chowder, you didn't get an eclair. Oh, man. <laughs> I love no those eclairs. And they developed a taste for chowder. <laughs> That's uh, a win-win. But the, the real secret to, to good chowder is, number one, it's got to have ingredients, and it needs to be natural. If you see tripolyphosphate on a can of clams, that's not the thing. Or sodium nitrite in the bacon. Now, all of our ingredients are all natural. The bacon is from Hempler Bacon, local in Ferndale. Mm -hmm. Meadow Sweet Dairy with a heavy cream, high butter fat, 39 to 40% for that silky smooth finish. Oh, it's not man. fattening at all. That sounds really good. The butter's from Meadow Sweet also. And their cows get no BST or RBSG, same thing. It's a growth hormone that makes cows give more milk. We don't allow that. They don't allow it. It's great. So the cows are happy, the chowder's good, and right. we're pretty satisfied. And then you have, you know, of course, red potatoes. Red potatoes are used because they don't leach as much starch into the into your chowder, so you always want to have red potatoes. Okay, good tip. Um, and, and then the herbs. You the say herbs that are, is the real deal. Well, the clams are really <laughs> the big part of it, and they're all natural. And like I said, you don't want tripolyphosphate. You want an all-natural plant. And then the herbs, our chowder is a bit herby, and it's the secret to why we won, we won the Seattle Chowder Cook-Off three years in a row. We're asked to retire, because the other restaurants <laughs> wouldn't compete. So the other it's kids a true said story. it wasn't fair. Anyway, um, but the herbs, starting with basil, mm -hmm. dill, uh, marjoram, marjoram, parsley, and thyme. If you want to chop a little bit. You bet. Of each thing? Start, start, yeah, just chop until you okay. get the, the, that, that nose flavor. Okay. Love basil. Look at, the, look at this experienced knife person here. Wow. wow. I'm yeah, just, no, just trying to be neat. Okay, I'm going to keep chopping. Oh, my keep, gosh, yeah. I'm chopping. You go ahead with it's what you're doing. It's really just, it's this incredible, strong, pungent yeah. ar ar aroma that you just, it's unmistakable. And, and the, the herbs and the, the clams and the bacon all kind of come together in this concoction that is truly ambrosia. It, it's the people who come to our restaurant, Man. And it'll, you're going to get a chance to, to taste it. But the expression we usually see on people's face when they have their first mm. bite, and I, I recorded this, almost 500 people did it, and they almost said the very same thing. What they said is they'd have a sip and they go, oh, my God, that is so good. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's a true story. Okay, so we'll how see many if you do. You're, this is the test. I know I will because you know I love your chowder. And the 
Oh boy, the no. little bread bowl is just too good to and be the bread true. Bowl. How many flavors do you have now? Sourdough bread is wonderful. Gosh, that smells good. Yeah, we have five five flavors in the restaurant. We have a lobster perno and a Cajun chicken, a crab bourbon, and a Northwest seafood chowder, which is not cream based, it's uh, tomato based. Can we freeze this, by the way, if we make chowder? You can. It'll freeze it right away, though. Oh my God, that's good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> That's, you're exactly right. Do you have a favorite among your chatters? Wow. This one's mine, everybody. I just want you to know. I was asked that question uh, backstage here, and uh, it depends on the day. Uh, some days I like lobster perno, and the next day I want Cajun. You know, it's, uh, I love the idea of the, of the Cajun. Where do you come up with these things? Well, I worked with a, a chef chemist about 15 years ago, and we spent three months in the kitchen together cooking and tasting and putting together the combinations that are so good with each other, crab and, and bourbon. Are a natural <laughs> lobster and perno, which is a, that licorice. Uh, it, it's incredible how that goes together. Right. And the Cajun chicken. We had a woman who who came to uh, to us and who claimed to be a Cajun expert, and we were just kind of God. We hope this passes the test, and she gave us the thumbs up. So and said it was just enough heat, not not too. It doesn't blow your head off. You know, it, it's just just the perfect amount of heat. What's your favorite beverage with a chowder? Actually, root beer is really good with with chowder. How I never knew that. It, it, it actually is really, really tasty. What a great, yeah. great thing to and then, know. Then you need something that's got malolactic, you know, that real buttery, like a Chardonnay that's got real buttery taste to it. It goes great with this because oh. obviously we got we got butter everywhere here. Root beer with the Chardonnay chaser. There can't, you go. Can't go wrong. Duke, thank you so much. Duke is kindly sharing the recipe for his awesomely famous chowder with everybody. Just head to our website and click the link for New Day Recipes. On that section, you can go to our Spiffed Up Recipe page where you can download recipes, create shopping lists, and lots more. And then, of course, our studio audience gets to sample some of this great chowder right after the show. Plus, you're going home with a box of pre-made chowder to share with the family. So happy Chowder Day, everybody. Looks just like this, and it's fantastic. After the break, we'll tell you how one woman took a spiritual sabbatical to deal with the loss of a...